was created to do these to do a few concerts uh, here so it's a pretty new group it's not a permanent group it's more of an, uh, a congregation put together to perform for this festivals for the concerts jazz festival and heard each other and it pretty much it's, it's, it's that easy that we just kind of stayed in touch in hopes of doing something and he organized part of this tour and asked me if I'd be interested in performing with him and I said yes so uh, it pretty much is that easy yes Part of this is I've been working with Ark, uh, doing some performances with him here in Kiev and in a couple of other cities. And I've also been working with uh, Robert Ajapolovsky, the saxophone player. We did some performances in Tel Aviv. And then the rest of it I've been put, I put together myself because I came, uh, I did a gig in Le Havre, France before I came here. And then I was, I'm going here from here to Vienna, uh, Luxembourg, Frankfurt, 
in uh, Istanbul, and then I finalize, I finalize in, in uh, Moscow at the, in the middle of November. people don't, uh, so yes, I very much so. Yes, I mean, you have to remember, I've been doing this for a very long period of time. So, well, a long time. I've been doing this uh, 42 years. So, yes, it should look easy by now. I hope I know what I'm doing. And that's also, you know, that's what the audience wants to see. They don't want to see how hard it took you to get there, how, how long it took you, or how hard the work is. They, they want it to look like it's very easy. They want it to look like they can do it or anyone can do it, even though everyone understands it takes more than that, more than just that. So I don't mind. It, it should come easy to me by now. I hope so. part of jazz and so I do a variety of blues because that's uh, what I also enjoy doing and uh, coming from Kansas City this is more of a swing based blues so it's not like uh, the other styles of blues like a Chicago style or something else so that uh, it doesn't necessarily set me apart but it's also just an enjoyable part of the show it's a nice transition from one style to another also the objects from Mars. They're all things that we've talked of 
That's what I like to do. Uh, we didn't get to do the others, but I mean, I, I try and do a little duet with each instrument sometimes on the show. Uh, so it gives me a chance to show a little bit. I get to show off a little bit, but it also features the other instrumentalists also. So uh, tonight we just did it with Ark on the bass, and that was nice. So it was fun. time to talk about stat scatting technique. I mean, uh, most of mine is born from, because I was uh, uh, originally uh, instrumentalist, I originally played saxophone. So that's where a lot of mine comes from. Yeah, well, I always encourage any vocalist to learn an instrument also. I mean, they don't have to be on stage with it, but they should learn, you know, and it helps their perspective when they perform and also, it helps them also earn more respect for the instrumentalists that they do have to work with. particular favorites. I, I mean, I, I like all kind of singing because I don't narrow it down to, uh, you know, I have a favorite jazz singer or a favorite pop singer or anything like that. I mean, I just like all, vo all vocalists, all singers, because any of them to reach any type of uh, popularity, you know, put a lot of work in. And so it's more difficult uh, for a lot of vocalists than I think people will understand. And so I like a, so many, I like a variety of styles of music. And I listen to all kinds of music, so I can't really limit it to one person. I mean, from from a classical to a, you know to hip hop, it, it doesn't matter.
all I do right now is jazz. I mean, I, I've always, I've done a variety of things. I mean, I've done uh, R&B when, in R&B bands. I've done classical, I've done opera, uh, I've done pop, I've done art song. Uh, I've done a variety of different music, yes. I don't, uh, it's part of the, it's part of my repertoire and part of my music history. So it, hopefully that you hear that when you hear me sing. I choose the songs. There is no set list. I choose the songs once I go on stage. I don't, uh, we never, uh, they don't know what I'm going to choose. Uh, we don't do a set list. How can you do a set list when you don't know how your audience is going to respond? songs that we know, I know everyone on this stage knows, so that I can pull from, yes. But we don't do everything that I know also, of course. But yeah, you hopefully you can get a feeling from the audience of what they want to hear by how they respond to certain things. But also you have to make sure that it flows, the, the set flows. So in other words, I'm hopefully not doing you know, four songs in a row that are all ballads or anything like that, but you hope that you give it a shape and a form so that, that uh, hope a concert like this should be a journey that starts at one point, and if you want to, it can go full circle and hopefully bring you back to that point where we started. Jazz standards have been played so many times. But part of why I chose Caravan is also because it's very recognizable and that the people over here love to hear it. Uh, I don't think I've been anywhere where they did not want to hear Caravan or did not request Caravan. So for us, it's a, it's a good closer because it's something that even if everything we played before no one has ever heard, now they have one thing they can latch on to and hold on to. And so that's what uh, that's what they're doing. That's what we're doing. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Sorrow.
clothes. I'm so tired of playing travel news, lonely in the evening. Nothing make believing that anyone else could make me happy, like mine in the morning. One of these days, I'm gonna pack my bags and go way back home, where I can see my baby on the East Coast. 